What's up guys, my name is Matt Vassell. We are out at Chilteau Park in Lexington, Kentucky doing a little mulligan challenge. Uh, this is a pretty short course, uh, mostly par threes, the whole 18, kind of a par four, but yeah, kind of a par three at the same time. Uh, most holes are pretty short. Um, so usually when I come out here, my goal is to shoot at least 10 down. Um, so today my goal is to only have eight mulligans at the most, hopefully a couple less than that, but I guess we'll see. Um, so stay tuned, hope it goes well. What's up guys? Like I said, we're out at Shilto Park, pretty short course, doing a mulligan challenge. So I'm trying to see how many mulligans it takes for me to get to a perfect round of 18 under par. Because most holes are under 300 feet, it shouldn't be too, too bad. I usually shoot about 10 down here at Shilto. On hole one, it's a par three, 281 feet. I'm going with my Big Z drone on a nice hyzer. Basket's right up by that green tree. Skips right before and skips to about 15, eh, yeah, 10, 15 feet away. Nice little warm-up putt. And it goes right in there, not too bad. So we are one down through one hole with zero mulligans used. On the hole two, it's a par three, 290 feet. I'm going with my zone. Also just putting it on a hyzer, the basket's kind of by this middle tree that it's going to hyzer towards. You can see how wet the ground is out there. It was really, really swampy out there today. It rained a lot the night before. And a nice little 10-footer. Two down through two holes with zero mulligans used. On the hole three, it's a par three, 260 feet. I am going with my Jawbreaker Ringer GT because it stays... As soon as it hits the ground, it kind of stays right by wherever it hits. I thought it had a chance out of my hand, but it did not fade as much as it needed to. Left myself about 18 feet or so for the, for the birdie. A little high, but not too bad. Three down, zero mulligans used. All right, guys, so we are three down through three holes right now. Haven't used a mulligan yet, so we're looking pretty good as of now. These next couple holes get a little bit longer, a little bit tougher, but there's not, still not too, too bad. So we'll see how it goes. On the hole four, it's a par three, 333 feet. I had a pretty good headwind on this hole, so I stabled up a little bit, went with my Z Vulture, putting it on a nice high hyzer and letting it fade more towards the basket. I'll usually throw a Proto Malta here. Oh yeah, you can see the wind, just take control of that disc. I usually throw a Proto Malta. Um, I, I like that buzz Malta range for this this distance, but with that headwind, I wanted to play it safe, especially with that hill behind me. On the hole five, it's a par three, 320 feet. I'm going with my Austin Hannum bottom stamp tour series force on a forehand. The basket sits right atop this hill, so I'm trying to hang it out wide and let it fade right towards the basket somewhere near the top of the hill. Thought it had a chance to skip in, but a little low. Left myself about a 30 footer or so. It felt like I was right on the edge of the circle one. It's kind of a lazy putt. High left side's never where you want to miss. Uh, that hill behind me kind of got in my head, even though it doesn't matter for a mulligan challenge. It just kind of was in my head a little bit, but there goes my first mulligan. But I made the correction, a little more right, let the disc do the work and fade in. On the hole six, it's a par three, 317 feet. Uh, it's not too long, but it's just making sure you hit that gap with a little bit of flip up. Also had a headwind here, so I went with my Proto Yulaberry signed Zeus or Proto Kong. Flips up nicely, lands about 30 to 35 feet or so away. Little left to right. Not too bad though. Still felt like I was on the edge of the circle for this putt. And I missed in the exact same spot I missed on the last hole. Not the best feeling, but gotta make that correction. No more high left side. Little low, but I'll take that over high left side any day of the week. All right, through six holes, I've used two mulligans, uh, both just kind of bad putts, but at least my drives are working so far. 
got to set that putting up a little bit, but once we do, looking pretty good. On the hole seven, it's a par three, 228 feet. Uh, it bends a good amount to the right once you hit this gap, so I'm going with my Raptor, just putting it on the forehand hyzer. Nice and slow, nice and smooth. I'll sometimes go zone here, uh, but then I feel like I have to put a good amount of emphasis, a good amount of power on that disc, and I, I like having that smooth release with a slightly faster disc. So if you didn't believe me that it was muddy, here's your proof. Oh, I thought that was coming out the back. Not the best feeling. These baskets are known for their spit outs, but luckily, luckily it stayed in there. Two mulligans down, minus seven, on the hole eight, par three, 310 feet. Those bushes and shrubs on the right side used to be a lot more grown in. They've pulled a lot of that out. So I'm, I'm used to throwing this forehand just to make sure I'm safe. And I stepped right in some mud. Not too bad though. Misses the trees, lands about 40 short, about eh, 35, 40 short. All right, we got a 40, 45 footer or so. I've uh, been struggling with this putt all day today, so let's see if I can actually hit one. Dead center, felt good. Can't be mad about that putt. Let's try it again. I don't know how that one stays. And the first one didn't, but that's okay. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with both those jump putts, regardless of the outcome of it. On the hole nine, par three, 285 feet. The basket's to the left of that far center tree, not the one that's like 20 feet away. Going with my zone, put it on way too much of a hyzer, a little lazy release, skips to about circle's edge, 30, 35 feet or so. It's where I feel like I've been putting from on almost every hole. I'm either parked or 30 feet away. Good day to work on the putting apparently. And you can see the train coming in the background too. Little right side, that basket was kind of a, a makeup for the last spit out. I'll take it one up, one down. Not too bad. All right guys, so we are nine holes down. My goal was to use uh, no more than eight mulligans throughout the round. And right now I'm at three, so I'm feeling pretty good right now. Um, back nine definitely has a couple tough holes too but for the most part i usually play the back better than the front so we'll see maybe we can cut the eight mulligans down to like six that'd be pretty cool so i did make a small mistake here uh, i thought the camera was still recording with my first shot but it turns out it wasn't i threw my proto malta and it hit the tree right in front of the basket and rolled about 70 feet away so i uh, took another mulligan this is my z vulture nice little flip up Hits the branch and puts it pretty much right next to the basket. It's a good branch. Ten down, four mulligans used. Still feeling pretty good. Hole 11, par 3, 156 feet. This hole's really short, but it's all about how you land on the green. So I'm going with my Big Z Luna. Putting it on an Annie, having it fade back. I want it to land as soft as it possibly can because discs tend to land and go 100 more feet on this hole. The soft ground definitely helped me on that too. On the hole number 12, par 3, 203 feet, another pretty short one. Uh, it's up in front of this bush that you can kind of see in front of you. Going with my forehand zone, just kind of treating it like it was an approach shot on a longer hole. Nice and soft, nice and smooth, just putting on a hyzer. Lands about 
25, 30 feet long or so. It's kind of a stressful putt. This one had a decent amount of headwind too. It's kind of hard to tell. But I, I felt pretty good after that putt. That one felt really good. All right, guys, we are through 12 holes now. I wanted to give a quick shout out to Sam Wheeling and Team Banga Chain. Thanks for the support last year. Thanks for the upcoming support for this year. If you need discs, apparel, baskets, bags, birdie bags, towels, whatever you need, go to bangachain.com, check out what they got. They have a huge supply right now. Uh, grand opening of the Banga Chain store is coming soon, so check that out as well. Especially if you're in the Lexington area, check out Sam Wheeling and Team Banga Chain. Through 12 holes, we have used four mulligans. Uh, still feeling pretty good. Not not too upset at myself right now, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, next two holes are kind of relatively tough. This one, the green is a little bit, there's a couple trees by the green, so it's kind of hard to get to. Uh, so we'll see, it takes a decently pretty good drive to get there, so we'll see. Like I said, hole 13, par three, 334 feet. Kind of blind off the tee, going with my Z Vulture. As usual, is trying to flip it up a little bit. This green tree that's on the right side catches a lot of discs. You you kind of want to barely miss that. And I thought that had a chance to. Wound up being a little bit left. It hit this tree that's like five, six feet away from the basket on the left side and just nestled in nicely before that creek. Before the round, I was kind of anticipating using at least one mulligan on this hole. I was, I was surprised I didn't have to, but believe me, I was pretty happy with that. On the 14, par 3, 232 feet. Once again, it's not the distance, it's more the shape of the shot. It kind of forces this Anheuser with a stable disc, so I'm using my Raptor. This was another hole that I surprised myself on. It's a hole that I feel like I get about 50% of the time, maybe. Uh, this is a good way to show kind of what the hole's like. There's three different gaps, the short, the middle, and the long gap. It takes a little bit of luck, a little bit of skill at the same time. I usually go for the long gap on the left side because it's a little bit bigger. Uh, and you can kind of see where my disc landed. It kind of makes sense that it went through the long gap. 30 feet, straddle putt, round the tree. And I, I was really happy to make that one too. My putting's felt a little bit off, but that, that's a good confidence booster. On the hole 15, par 3, 273 feet. Still with my Raptor. I, I like that disc quite a bit. Trying to go flat, a little bit of hyzer. You can see the basket right to the left of that second tree from the right. And it nestles in nicely. Oh yeah, you can hear that wind too. Fifteen holes down, four mulligans, feeling good. Gotta finish strong just to make sure, but I got my Raptor. I struggle with this hole a little bit because it's downhill, but we'll see. Hole 16, par 3, 243 feet. I like to throw this one as soft as I possibly can. Just let the stable disc kind of do what it needs to do. Out of my hand, I thought it was way too far. And even the way it landed, I thought it was a little bit too far too. So I brought two putters with me, thinking it was going to be like across the creek a little bit, but I wound up, I think it just hit the trees, the bushes to the left, and kind of stopped. I was pretty happy about that too. Good fortunate break. On the hole 17, par 3, 286 feet, I'm using my TI four-time Undertaker. Uh, trying to flip it up. I had a good right-to-left wind on this one, so I was trying to flip it up, have it nice, but I threw it too high. And you'll notice it'll hit that big clump of trees and roll right back kind of in the middle, giving me a look at the putt. So I was, once again, pretty fortunate to break two holes in a row. It felt like I was like between circle one and circle two, so I wanted to walk it off just to make sure it wound up being about 35, 37 feet or so. Right in the step putt range, I like it. I've had quite a few step putts today, so hopefully we can drain this one. And honestly, I'm kind of okay with that. I made the correction from before where I was missing high left. I'd rather miss right, just making that correction from before. So there goes another mulligan. That's my fifth one I've used so far. And 
and that one felt really, really good. Making the correction once again. All right, guys, this is the last hole, hole 18. I have used five mulligans so far, and I'm pretty happy with that. For me, that's a really good round, so I'm definitely happy where I'm at right now. Uh, I've had good drives, haven't really approached too much because they're all par threes, um, and pretty good putts for the most part, but that's always something I can work on. Uh, these kind of videos, this is the first one I've done so far, uh, but be on the lookout, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you liked what you saw so far. I'm gonna be doing different challenge videos, mulligan challenges, uh, putter only rounds, forehand versus backhand rounds where I'm taking the worst shot, uh, disc comparisons, all kinds of stuff. So if you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button and see what's coming out soon. This last hole, hole 18, some call it a par three, some call it a par four. Um, if I play it as a par three, I'm probably not gonna to it for a really long time. I think I've toed it twice and they are both from pretty good throw-ins, um, but it's a really easy par four. So hopefully I can stick at five mulligans to end my round, but Using my Proto Kong, Proto Zeus, Eulabay stamped on it, or Eulabay signed on it. Let's see how it goes. Hole 18, par 4, 447 feet. This first shot, honestly, as long as you put it somewhere in this field, straight. Yeah, I mean, you want to be a little bit more right than I'm going right now, but it, it's not too off. Well, I hung it out there way too far, but we'll see. I'd rather be about 50, 60 feet shorter than that. That way these trees, even though they're small, I would just rather not have to think about them. Um, but I'm going my zone for my approach. It This feels like it could be a tee shot on this course. It's about the same length as most of them. Um, just a little hyzer, pitch up. Felt good. Should be a nice, easy way to end my round. Oh, yeah. There it is, 18 down, five mulligans. All right, guys, that was a pretty good round. Five mulligans used for the perfect round. I'm definitely happy with that. I reached my goal of less than eight. Uh, like I said, hit the subscribe button if you like what you saw, and be on the lookout for more videos. See you next time.